coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Hey man, shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pound, man, you know I appreciate the love, <laughs> I appreciate the support, 33 man, 33 years of prison stores, we out here, we pushing this P 24-7, 365, Pushing, 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 pushing. You dig? Big love, man, to everybody who follow me, man. Everybody who rock with the movement, who rock with the platform. I appreciate you, man. It, all that you do helps keep the uh, the movement going, man. So please, man, don't uh, lighten up, tighten up, man. We 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 looking getting back to where we were, but the only thing we're still low in is is, is in the uh, algorithm is is subscribers, man. All the subscriber count is down. So, man, look, tell a friend to tell a friend, man. That's what we got to do. That's the only way we can grow this platform. That's the only way we can get noticed is by the numbers. And, you know, we got to keep pushing and keep pushing. We're on the road to 200K. Yes, they ain't gave us our plaque yet, but we know what our accomplishments is. We know what we've been doing. Let's keep pushing. Let's make them not be able to ignore us. So, we're on the road to 200K, man. Keep talking and keep telling a friend and keep sharing these videos. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. <clears throat> Don't forget, man, we got the raffle going on. The raffle is in full effect, man. Do not forget, you can get to a 75-inch TV. All you got to do is lock in, put in a ticket, uh, hardcore boxing news. All of the information is in the shorts, is in the uh, community. Um, When you're a 75-inch TV, man, it will be announced at the meet and greet this on November the 29th and 30th. You can also get your tickets right there with J Hardcore, uh, Hardcore Boxing News, and um, you can get you a ticket, man. The ticket will include food, you know, soft drinks, and we're gonna uh, they got an open bar in there as well, and we just gonna chop it up. We are gonna have some fun, man. We might tell some stories. We might, you know, set me up on the stage and get a Q and A, and you can ask whatever you want. But we are gonna have a good time. That is the plan, y'all. Please show up and show out. Appreciate y'all. TBP Nation, stand up, man. Let's go, let's go. Man, now that we got that out of the way, listen, man, today, 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 um, came from the morning mud as well. Just sparked a memory in my head about a video, you know, so I'm going to try to, you know, explain the situation to y'all the best that I can. Um, When we was talking about noise and stuff in the uh, <laughs> independent attention, man, noise is a big problem. It is a big problem, but it's, it's also, uh, you know, it's an ongoing problem. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Because dudes going to make noise, man. Dudes going to be loud. Dudes going to do what they do because we, we we ain't got nothing else to do. And then the younger dudes you get, the louder it's going to be, right? But I, like I told y'all before, I learned when I first came in the world that if you can't sleep doing noise, you will not sleep in the penitentiary because morning, noon, night, it's gonna be noise. It, it, you just you got people to sleep all day and stay up all night. You got people to sleep at nighttime and be up all day. So it's gonna always be that tug of war right there, where the dudes is trying to sleep and the dudes is making noise. Now, the universal penitentiary law is to mind your business. Now you really don't supposed to be you know trying to check nobody about noise this that and the third. I mean you know by penitentiary standards, but dudes do it. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to lie to you. Most of the time, it's the old times. You know, because they set in their ways. They've been in the penitentiary before you got there. They seen it when it was different. They seen it when it was more respect, when it was more quiet. They seen that. And that's what they used to. And I told you, in penitentiary, routine is everything. So when you start breaking a dude's routine, when you start cutting into how he do his time, it's going to be some issues that's going to come up. You know, and mostly with them old timers, man, they gonna try to check you, but they they ain't gonna keep they ain't gonna keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna keep doing it. It's gonna come to a point where they feel like they gotta bust a move, and it ain't gonna take a whole lot of time. They gonna give you a warning most of the time. Some of them you, some of them don't. You got some of them they they just pop straight off. They just you know they got so much going on, so much built up, so much pent up on the inside of them that. When some irritate them, the only way they know how to express it is, you know, through violence. 
So they may not even say nothing to you. I know those type of dudes too. You know what I'm saying? They 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 throw it off. You know what I'm saying? Like really throw it off. Them dudes on some other stuff. So it all depends, man. It all depends on how they feeling or uh, that day. What's going on? What's the situation? And that that can determine what's gonna happen. But that Noah's thing, a lot of the old timers they sleep at night. A lot of the young dudes. They be bopping, rhyming, rapping, laughing, joking. Sometimes if they got that weed or something in there or they got something to drink, they up all night hollering, hooping, making noise. On the weekends, on most institutions, you can stay up till like 1, 1.30, sometime like that, and, and, and they got to lock you in. I don't really know what the whole time is. 1, 1.30, 2 o'clock, I don't know, because I ain't never up there late out there because there ain't nothing going on in the block. I need to be out there till 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning in a penitentiary park. I ain't doing it. I ain't never did it. You know what I'm saying? But they be up. And then sometimes, most times dudes that's older, they sleeping during that time. You know, some dudes go to pen go to bed in a penitentiary 8, 9 o'clock at night. After the last count, dude is gone. Well, he know he ain't got to be woke up because they going to wake you up at the at the last count after like 8 o'clock. So after that, after that count over, dude can lay down. I ain't got to worry about really being disturbed. Unless it's excess noise in the block, crazy stuff going on, woo, woo, woo. Your door come open, you got to pop up, that type of stuff. So dudes used to get mad with the dudes be out there at nighttime buffing. Buffing the flow with a big old buffer, bumping up against your door. Boom, boom. Wake a dude up. It's been beef done happened behind that. It's dudes and got, you know, some bloodshed behind that. You know, for doing their job, but they doing their job too much. They doing their job at the wrong time. A lot of them bammers will tell dude, the, 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 the officers they want to buff at night. So they might cut the rack short just so the dudes can be out there buffing at night. You say, oh, why you, they want to buff at night? Because can't nobody walk on the floor and mess the floor up before they finish. Other than that, it's activity going around all day. So that's a problem. That's an issue. But you get them young dudes out there, man, and think they can rap at night, man, and they be out there banging on the table and and, and, and all that stuff. And depending upon where you at, you might be close to somebody's cell, or even if you ain't close to somebody's cell, people can hear you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's quiet and they can hear you. They got all the TVs and everything cut off in their cell. Both of them sleep. They can hear you, man. And some people can't sleep with that type of cadence going on. So. I know I remember this old time and he was older too, man. He was an older dude, but he known back in the day to be a thorough dude and to put some work in, but he older now. I'm talking about older, man. Like probably he probably was pushing 61, 62, you know. But and he got that, you know what I'm saying, that old man, like, what, what? You know, he got that, you know what I'm saying? He, Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's one of those types of It's like the old anger man, like everything mad about him. He ain't, he ain't you know what I'm saying? He just, he just, he just a, a mean old cuss, as they would say. And that's how he was. And they know that. So these dudes, man, they would get out there, they want to be bopped and laugh and be, you know, all high on the weed and making all this noise. And all the time I told him, man, listen, man. Man, nighttime, man. At nighttime, man, take that stuff away from my cell, man. Have that stuff over there somewhere, man. Y'all doing all this at night, man. Y'all, it's, it's, it's too loud at night. So they tell me, ain't nobody uh, making no whole lot of noise, man. He said, I, 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 I told you. I told you, man. Man, go ahead. Go ahead on old time. Go ahead. I, I, okay. That was all it took. He like, all right, all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? That's a warning. But these young dudes can't pick up on that. That's a stern, hard warning. Is words in between the words. Like, I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. I ain't gonna tell you no more. They don't pay attention. They keep on doing what they doing. Every time they can get high, they out there rapping, trying to out rap each other, laughing, giggling, busting out loud. You, I can hear them. And I'm upstairs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna sleep through as long as that door don't open. I'm good. So, man, next thing you know, man, it's a couple of weeks later. They still up with the same foolishness. And, man, oh, boy, I ain't seen him when he came out. I just woke up after all the noise. But to my understanding, he comes out, get the door open, come out there. Now, it's like 12, 11, 30, 12. <laughs> he dressed. That's a sign. 
He got on state shirt, state pants, and the state boots. And he dressed, you know. And he come out there, he walk up to the table, and he got his hand in his pocket. And he walk up to the table, he said, man, 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 why y'all making all this noise out here, man? So they hot, and they young. It's about four, five of them. So they tell me, man, man, all the time, man, go ahead on, man, man, you been there, man, we out here, man, you and say, tell me, I ain't no mind, no business, I done told you, man, I done told you I'm making all this goddamn gon' noise out here. Boom, young dude said, man, you don't tell nobody what to do, man, you don't want no point attention. So he turned to the young dude, tell me, man, what, 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 and before he could say that, the young dude pop, 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 he fall down, he an older dude, like I say, he fall down, they jump on him like a pack of hyenas. They all come running, try to jump on them, start kicking them and all this. Man, they say old time was taking them, kicking that thing, and he, he reaching, he done pulled out that pocket and start. Feel <laughs> 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 still start going up in their leg. <laughs> 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 And scream this one. I get up and sell it. We out there, we looking out the door. He he, he screaming. Ah, he's so now he's scrambling trying to get up. They still trying to put some 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 feet on him, but they see he got something there. So now they the 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 high heel pack on him like this. Now they bag it up. Now he up and he just start running to him, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you you know how it is when you a kid and you playing tag and you trying to run and you trying to tag and everybody just running and he running away, but he he older. <laughs> he got a little hitch in his wagon. <laughs> he can't really get up and go like he want to go. But he ain't got bad intentions. Any one of them that he get close to, he trying to poke holes in them. You know what I'm saying? And they know it. So they run around scrambling. They can't get in the cell because the cell doors is closed. Because at this time of night, only way you can get it open, you got to get your door open from the inside out. Or you got to go up to the booth and tell somebody to open the door. If you go up there to the booth, tell somebody to open the door, first of all, the person in the booth probably up there asleep. And you will alarm them. So you snitching. You dry snitching. So there ain't nothing they can do. They outside, buck naked at night. They ain't nail one of them scrap. You out here at night. Every night, beat bobbing and making all this noise. And you already know people done told y'all y'all too loud. Some people have told you nicely. Some people have gave you warnings. Some people say y'all too loud, man. At nighttime, man, pipe that down. You already know this. But yet you still out here and you ain't scrapped. Like it ain't nothing gonna happen. You know why? Because they done said something too many times and ain't nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? It's like a it's a it's a it's a line in one of them rap songs. I think it's DMS say, cause a brother ain't got shot in a while. You know what I'm saying? So ain't nobody got tore out the frame in a minute. For nothing like this so they thinking they good they thinking they all right old time already fed up he can't sleep at night you done interrupted his program you understand you done broke his routine and he done told you and then he trying to show you so they scrambling and running around don't know what to do you know what i'm saying so he he going to every one of them to get close to him but they running right and the people in the booth is still unaware so one of the little young dudes managed to get behind him, and he came up behind him and punched him. Boom, hit him in the head. Not old timer down. He fell in, slid on across the floor. They act like they was going to run up to him and try to get him so they could subdue him and take the joint from him. But he turned over and, and, and <laughs> started start pumping that joint. Started pumping that joint like a piston. They ain't want no parts of it. You know what I'm saying? And you know how the story goes. Y'all have heard it enough time there by now. Whoever in the booth done. And, and what's going on out here? And come, and that's the whole ball game right there. Er, bang, hey, 12, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Hey, just go to your cell. Go to your cell. Everybody go to your cell. And the people come running in. But you got you got two dudes that got holes in their leg. You, know? <laughs> you got two of them. It got holes in their leg. And one of them, he he ain't even trying to get with it no more. He over there standing by the door holding his leg. He want to go to medical. He want to get healed. He want to get some medical attention. He ain't never felt that type of sharp pain before. So, and, then, and, and the rest of them, they still scrambling. But old time, it's, he done clutch now. He done clutch. He putting it in his pocket. And he just walking around. He trying to get, yeah, come, 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 come on, get up on me. Yeah, get it. So they know it's him. 
You know what I'm saying? And then they act like they want to get him, but they ain't running up and get him because they know what he got. But he's trying to conceal it from the people in the booth now. You know what I'm saying? So it was just mad, mad chaos, man. Mad, mad chaos. But the dude, the old head had told him, they too loud. You too loud at night, man. Take that away from my cell, man. Or bring that down. But they ain't listening, you know, because they thinking, Penitentiary just, just, you know, I'm stuck here. I got to have fun. This is how I have fun. This is what we do, man. We rapping, man. You know what I'm saying? We we, 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 we smoking, man. Man, we high, man. We, we, we munching out here. We eating honey buns and tighty chips and noodles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we in the penitentiary. What can we do? We can't go nowhere. We can't go to club. We can't go call a girl to come over. We can't do nothing. This is what they do. They stuck. You know what I'm saying? They can't. That is their routine. That's their routine. You understand me? But your routine is not gonna fit inside of the penitentiary structure, man. All that little boys uh, playing and rapping, and ain't nobody got time for that, man. In the penitentiary, even the dudes that listen to it and go ahead on and don't say nothing, they don't like it because everybody in here, man, going through something, man. Ain't nobody got time for that. If you wanted to be a rapper, you should have stayed on the street. You know, you should have pursued your career. You should have been doing what you're doing here in, in the penitentiary at night, keeping dudes up. You could have been on the street in the studio, uh, smoking weed, eating food, and you'd have had your girls right there, and you could have been trying to make some music with probably, you know, could have been on a record somewhere or blew up or something. But now you in the penitentiary, bro, and ain't nobody, man, you got dudes in here, ain't never going nowhere. They ain't trying to hear all that noise at night. You know, they try to lay in the bed in their cells in their own misery, by themselves without being, you know, subjected to all of your loud noises and man, come on with that, you know. So they learned a valuable lesson, you know what I'm saying? That 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 day right there. They learned a very valuable lesson. Two of them, two of them learned a serious lesson, you know, cause they <laughs> they got some holes in their leg. You did? And if if, if old time would have caught one of them right, he 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 would have kept punching. He'd have kept punching. If he had caught him, he'd have kept punching because he already know. You know what I'm saying? He'd have been in the penitentiary over 25 years. He's 60 some years old. He probably ain't going nowhere. He know the count. He know what he gonna get for doing what he just did. So he he really trying to go ahead on and get you. Yeah, he trying to get you. If he can send you, he gonna send you. You know, cause you playing with him and, and, and he done told you. And you ain't gonna respect that. He gonna make you respect. It. You know, even if it's at his own cost and getting sent back, getting in some more trouble, all of that is par for the course. That's just how it go. You know what I'm saying? But when you break a man's routine in prison, man, you break his peace. If you break his peace, man, he going to break all the rules to try to do something to you. You know, it's just that simple. You know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they know now. <laughs> I would, I don't know for sure. But I would be willing to wage when they went in another pod whenever it was all over and they got out of jail, got transferred or went wherever they went. When they went in another pod and them dudes was out there beat bobbing and hip hopping at nighttime. And they say, man, come on, get out. I bet you they ain't get in. <laughs> I bet you I know two of them ain't get in. <laughs> I know two of them ain't get in. Probably reached down and felt their leg when you ask me, ah, nah, I'm good. Y'all go ahead. <laughs> you know, and probably went and sat over at another table. But these type of things pop off in the penitentiary, man. Just because, man, dudes don't be knowing and dudes don't be believing that sometimes they got to see it. You know what I'm saying? They got to see it and they got to understand it. And then a lot of them young dudes, they would look at these old dudes and think, man, hey, what are you going to do? Man, I'll beat them. No, you won't. Yeah, you might physically whoop them, but you ain't going to win. You you, you know what I'm saying? You might get over on the battle. You ain't going to win the war because them dudes is methodical, man. They going to get you. See, you they can't even think war. They can't even think it. If you think... If you think war, you ain't got no business being out there doing something that you know disturbs somebody in the block and you ain't got that thing on you. Because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know who's going to approach you. And ain't now one of them look like they can fight worth 50 cent. You know what I'm saying? Ain't now one of them look like they did. No extra, all of them bone thin, fresh off the street, little youngins. Little youngins. And mess around in the penitentiary, you'll never go home playing with these old dudes. You'll never go home, though. Real talk, because one of them would damage you for life, if not take your life, you know. So it was a hard lesson. It was a crazy lesson, man. But it's it's like you get used to seeing those things in the penitentiary. You get used to waking up out your sleep because you heard the skip, skip, the skip, and you heard it loud. And you heard and you get used to waking up and going to your door and looking out and seeing something. This crazy, 
I've done it so many times I can't even remember. You know what I'm saying? Waking up out of my sleep and going to that door. Somebody out there rumbling. Somebody out there fighting. Somebody out there poking. Somebody out there doing something crazy because it, it, the tensions is high at all times in the penitentiary. It's at all time high, man. And dudes is just waiting for a reason for somebody to, to, to push them or tilt them over the edge. And sometimes it could be something as small as somebody out there bebobbing and rapping. I just seen a couple of them jokes. A whole lot. I done seen dudes. I told y'all before. I done seen dudes come straight out saying don't say nothing. and just start nothing, nothing. Or come out and just start. I done seen dude come out, grab dude right behind nigga, just start choking. You know what I'm saying? Because he always sat by there and just he was by himself. I would just be beating. Bam, 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 right by himself. All the, just came straight out and start put him in the dope fiend. Choked him all the way out. You know? So these type of things go on. And these youngers don't. It's like. Ain't nobody telling them this. And then when you do tell them, they're not listening. They're not taking heed. They're not taking heed. But on the, from, from their perspective, they're just so bored and they're not used to not being able to go nowhere. And they the reality setting in on them that I'm stuck, man. This, this is it. Yeah, this is it, bro. This is, this is it. Yeah. For how long? How long you got? 20 years. <laughs> they got to entertain themselves. They got to. Or cause you 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 might lose your mind when you when that reality set in where you at how long you got to be here and this is this is it <laughs> this is it it's, it it it, 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 it hey man it will drive you into a deep depression and you have to you have to you know you got to entertain your own self man you got to find that's what I say routine you got to find a routine you got to find something that you can lock on to. But you also got to find something that you can lock on to that ain't going to bring more stuff to you. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of them, man, that's all they know. That's all they know. BT, MTV, uh, you know what I'm saying? Hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Uh, dreams of what they wanted to be, but they was out on the street doing something else and they weren't pursuing them dreams. Now you in the penitentiary and this is what you want to do. But even doing that can cost you. You did. But. Anyway, man, just one of those stories, just one of those penitentiary stories, man, to let you know, hey, it goes down in the P.I. You did? It goes down all the time, man. Please believe me. But y'all talk to me in the comments, man. I talk back, man. Y'all be safe, be smart, make good decisions. Stay out of the penitentiary. That's your be your best decision. You understand me? Stay out of the penitentiary. Stay out of the streets. Streets leads to the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Duck the streets, man. You might conduct the penitentiary, man. So, uh, y'all let me know. Talk to me in the comments. I talk back in the meantime, in between time, man. Get a, get in this raffle, man. Support. Supporting is important. Support this raffle. Support this meet and greet. Pull up on me. Let's have some fun. Let's talk. Let's kick it. Let's have some fun on November the 29th and the 30th, man. Uh, big love, TBP Nation. Y'all stand up. Be safe. Be smart. Make good decisions, man. And, man, man, man. <clears throat> Duck them penitentiaries, man. Duck them hooks, man. Yeah. Stay free. Huh? It's a whole lot better than option. The bank is special. Yeah. Pure delicious. Pure delicious, man. My name is uh Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know? And uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.